Today we're going to talk about cleaning your tires and putting dressing on it. Uh, one of the most common mistakes that people tend to make is that they just go right at their, after washing their car, they immediately spray tire shine on their car, or on their tires, and um, it ends up slinging all over the side of the car or just it stays on for a couple of days and just attracts dust and dirt. Uh, so what we want to talk about today is cleaning the tire first before applying a tire shine. So it's going to make the tire shine last a lot longer and it'll also give you a much more uniform finish. So on this particular tire, this is an older Yokohama tire, but you can still see, hopefully the camera's picking this up, it has sort of a brownish hue to it, and mostly because it has old mold release on it from when the tire was new, and then build up of excess of different kinds of tire dressings. So let's start first of all, we're gonna, we're gonna use three different products. Uh, the first one I wanna try is uh, uh, Griot's Rubber Prep. So it's kind of an obscure product in their line. Um, what I found is this stuff was really great in removing um, mold release on, on some of the newer tires. Pirelli's in particular, Michelin's, um, especially their vintage line, tend to come with this white caked on residue. And this tears right through it and gets right to the bottom, right to the rubber, and makes it a lot easier to apply your next step. So the, the rubber uh, prep itself, I like to use a, a small or an older towel because these towels won't be very good after you use this prep. So really simple to use. There's nothing to it. I use a lot of it, even though you're probably not supposed to, but I do like to build it up. You can see immediately how it removes all that gunk that's on the tire. So we'll give it a little bit of agitation. Now I like to use as I said, I like to use probably more than I'm supposed to, but with these newer tires like these Yokohamas where you've got a, um, this ridge here, you want to kind of get that stuff in the ridges and inside the tire tread here. I'm going to take a toothbrush and put a little bit on that. And then that'll allow us to get in here. Now this, this seems a little excessive, but you know, you do it once and basically you won't have to keep going back on it. Let's just knock that out so we just have this little section. And then you can go back and hit where the seams are. But immediately you can see, I hope you can see on the camera, that the tire itself is already starting to look like a, uh, a semi-gloss black finish where the you can actually see the rubber. And it dries nice and clean. I'm gonna spin the tire now. We're gonna try one of their newer products. This is their foaming tire cleaner. This is more readily available. The rubber prep, you, I think you have to order only online on griotsgarage.com. This one uh, you can get at uh, Advanced Auto Parts, uh, O'Reilly's, places like that. And this stuff is really, really neat. It, you, you put it on like this. You can actually do the wheel with it as well if you want to. Again, I take an older microfiber towel. In this case, these are the cheapy ones that have already gone through a couple of wash cycles. And you know, I usually use them for rocker panels and, or door jams or even engine compartments. So these older, these older things, you'll see immediately why I use older ones. I like to let this soak for a couple of seconds. And then as it's soaking, so if we have this in here, we've got some tire lettering. And I do, you can agitate it a little bit to make the process a little quicker. So I'll just agitate a little bit and wipe it off the rim first. So this stuff will clean off brake dust and and give you a nice finish even on the wheels. So if you if you want to if you the wheels aren't really bad and you don't need a heavy duty wheel cleaner, you can actually clean it with this. And then I like to go over that the wheel itself with something like the, uh, the ceramic uh, three in one or the spray wax. All right, so we're ready to go here. You can see already how the foam has turned brown and it's already taking all that mold release off. It's a little bit easier to use than rubber prep. But the reason we're showing you different products is because different tires respond in different ways. What I find is that um, some of the Michelins don't, don't react very well to certain products or, or the Pirellis. So you may have to find the right product that, that works uh, for your particular type of tire. Um, the foaming tire cleaner is a lot more forgiving and will probably work on more variety of tires than, than the uh, rubber prep itself. So again, let it wipe it off, let it dry for a minute or two. And that's about it. Now it looks a lot deeper and a lot glossier than what we did earlier with rubber prep. That's because it's still drying. But once this dries, it'll kind of have that same finish where you're down to the bare rubber, you can actually hear it squeak. 
and you can also feel that there's no residue in between. Your fingers stay clean. All right, the third product we're gonna use is not a Grayos product, rather a product that was made for uh, uh, range hoods. <laughs> That's where it originally originated. It's a uh, all-purpose degreaser called SD20, made in Ohio. This stuff is, uh, is what a lot of the NASCAR teams, IndyCar teams use to remove rubber from the side of the car or to keep their parts clean, that sort of thing. Uh, I find it to be a fantastic degreaser. Uh, you can spray it on bare aluminum and it won't stain anything. This stuff really works great. Be very careful around paint. Sometimes I've had reactions with different types of paint, especially older, uh, really dry lacquers that can maybe uh, leave a little bit of mark behind it. But when you're doing a tire, it doesn't really matter. This stuff works perfectly on, on all these rubber surfaces. I also like it on rubber seals and gaskets and that sort of thing. Anyway, SD20 is just like the foaming tire cleaner in that it just goes on as a foam. And then I do agitate it. Again, nothing serious. I'm not even, I'm hardly working here. Just getting a little bit of agitation to get between the letters. But you can see immediately how it goes from white to brown as it picks up all that dirt. It takes all that old gunk off of there. So SD20 and the foaming tire cleaner from Grios uh, have one other thing in common that I really like, and that's the fact that you can spray your wheel well with it as well. So if you have painted wheel wells, or in this case, they're, they're painted with a stone guard on top, you can just go ahead and spray that in there and wipe it off clean and um, then hit it with a quick detailer or a uh, spray wax on top of that to protect it, make it last a little bit longer the next time you go to clean it. Again, with these Yokohamas, I'm getting up in that groove just to make sure we got that edge cut. Finish wiping it off and then let it dry. So now we've gotten this far, let's go back to our original. Here's our original with the rubber prep. So the next thing we want to do, there's a couple of different ways of doing trier dressing. Uh, most people, you know, they, they use the, the most popular products in the country for, for tire dressings are all the extreme tire shines and all the ones that are super high gloss. I tend to go for more of a um, satin finish than a, uh, than a high gloss finish. So as you can see, all these products like to eat up the tape glue as well. I'm going to take that off anyway because we're going to use the dressing now. I'll go back and touch those areas up. But you can really see, I don't know where the camera can pick that up, but there's a marked difference here between where it hasn't been done, it's very, very brown. And then as you move into the tire, it's, it's nice and black. So first thing we're gonna use is a uh, simple, the tire vinyl rubber and dressing. Uh, Meguiar's has a product similar to this called number 40. Um, all these things are nice because they go on and leave a nice satin finish. You can look at different products, whatever, whatever you're most comfortable with. There's things like endurance and other tire dressings out there that really last a long time, but they're all going to last a lot longer now that you put, now that you've cleaned the, the rubber itself. So what I like to do with these dressings is just rub it in, make sure you get in all the corners. Again, once you do this, it's going to stay a lot longer than, than you used to have to deal with. So we're just going to put this on here. We're going to let that sit and then we're going to move to a, another section. So in this section, I'm going to take a dry towel, make sure we get all the old cleaner off, all the old cleaner out of here. So it's completely dry before we put our dressing on. And then we're going to use, um, in this case, some of the black tire shine from Griot's, one of their spray on products. Again, getting up in that groove and all the edges. And again, I like to let it sit. So continue doing whatever you were doing, clean your wheel wells or whatever. Once it sits on there for about five, 10 minutes or so, then we're gonna, what I'd like to do is just start, just buff it down to leave a nice even finish. So this is the, first of all, the uh, vinyl rubber dressing that we put on first. And that's the finish that we're, actually this is the kind of finish that we're looking for. So the tire looks like a brand new tire. It doesn't have any real gloss to it. A lot of this will, you can see it's a little, blotchy in here, but all that will settle down as the, as the material dries. On the tire shine size side, uh, this is perfectly acceptable to a lot of people, but uh, 
I'm not a big fan of their high gloss. So again, just, I take the towel, wipe it down, and then find a dry side and buff. Basically you're burnishing that material in. Now there, the black shine will leave a high gloss anyway, and, uh, but they do have other products such as the, uh, uh, the satin finish, which will give you a little bit lower gloss and not as, not as in your face as, as this particular one is. So there you have it. This will also dry down a little bit and tend to uh, soak in so it'll have a little bit more uniform finish. So you just have to let it dry for whatever half an hour or so and you'll be good to go. Support brands that support classic motorsports. Get your chemical solutions from CRC Industries. Visit crcindustries.com to learn more.